Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to James Cameron's Avatar of the Game! Last time we just got started and we had uh, only just made it into our Avatar for the first time, so we actually get to run around as our Avatar now. As you can see, we can no longer interact with the vehicles, we're obviously far too large to interact with those. Another thing, uh, maybe it'll do it, maybe it won't? Ah, yeah, here we go. So playing as an Avatar, as an Avatar, Pandora's flora and fauna is less aggressive towards you, therefore killing inoffensive creatures and planets will not yield experience points. So now I don't get XP for destroying these plants because I'm the Na'vi. I'm playing as a Na'vi. So that means that Pandora is not hostile to me. Well, it still kind of is, but not, you know, not the same way that it was when I was a human. So that is important. Um, now, where are we going right now? So I can't activate this GMI, but I can activate this tree of... Tree of... What is it called again? Tree of... Something? Uh, trees of Vision. That's what they are. Tree of Vision. Yeah, so... I can't interact, interact with this thing, because I am not a human anymore. So, where am I going on the map right now? Uh, I'm actually kind of heading the right direction. We'll just keep going this way for now. And, let's see. I don't think I actually have any other weapons. No, I don't. For now, this M60 is all I have. Now, these Viper Wolves will still come after me, as you can see, but I have unlimited ammo and no overheat. So, the uh, frames dip there. Oh boy. And these are the ones that heal themselves a little bit too. So, even though I have to kill them to defend myself, I don't actually get XP for doing so anymore. Um, there's an animal I can scan right there. Look at that. Hexapede. This is like six-legged horse things that are pretty cool. So, also, um, you can find cell samples like this. And that one actually gave me two cell samples, so that's nice. You can find cell samples in plants sometimes as well, so... Good stuff to know. Okay, here we are at the, the Avatar, like, camp, basically. And who are... who is the guy we're supposed to be talking to? You, you, sir. Let's open up this tree of vision so we have it unlocked. Dr. Hello there. Parker, must be Ryder. Let's get you up to speed. Straight to it, huh? Uh, my apologies. It's been one of those days. I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Or the worst of enemies. <laughs> I'm not here to make then we'll get along just fine. Now, please, go and assist my associates. Alright, what does that mean exactly? These guys, what do they need help with? Hello. You, listen, noob. I need you to grab me some flora samples. You ain't afraid of a few carnivorous plants, are you? What's a deadly flower among friends? We aren't friends, and you need to learn quick. No one in the RDA is your friend. Figure that out, and you might survive on this rock. Hmm. <laughs> All right, then. Just grab me samples of a chalice and a scorpion thistle, and we won't have any problems. Okay. I guess that's a lot of XP for that. When we finish it? Oh yeah, I went for the buggy, but, uh, you know, obviously I can't do that, so... Eh, whoops. Alright, let's hop down here. Is there fall damage? I don't remember. Well, not a whole lot of fall damage, if there is any at all. Oh, I got some Viper Wolves here. Just be preemptive. Like this, because I know they're going to come after me. The hex beads are not vicious at all. They're fine. Alright, well... Whoa, okay, so there's a... Oh, oh, I remember these guys. No, don't. Oh, dang it. Leave me alone, you. Leave me alone. This is not a fight you are going to win. There we go. Okay, let's see. Scorpion thistles. So that's what one of those is. Do I need to just run up here and grab it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm playing as an Avi, so that means it's not going to rear up and attack me. Oh, and that must be something else that we need. Kill that guy. Oh, I shot it on accident. Now it's probably mad at me. Or maybe not. Okay, well, I guess we're fine. So what? we scanned one of these before, but I, don't, I didn't catch the name. Cantalid, okay. So another scorpion thistle here. And ammo pod that I don't actually need, because I have unlimited ammo. A couple more of these viper wolves. There we go. Scorpion thistle. And what is this thing? Chalice. Okay. Oh, it's like a giant, uh, giant flytrap, basically. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is a busted, uh, avatar chamber here. What am I, what else am I trying to grab here? Oh, another one of these. Oh, wait, this is, this is something else. 
Oh wait, that's yeah, that was unrelated to the mission. What am I? What else do I need back here? Oh, I see something else. Is this another one of those uh, candlelit samples? Looks like it. Let's grab that. Or it was just a normal cell sample. What else do I need? Where does it tell me? Uh, sector challenges. What about in here? Uh, flora, fauna, geography, and the file, RDA files. Uh, how does one view objectives? That's what I don't understand here. Oh, wait, hold on. No, maybe not. Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just keep looking around. Oh, interpreter. Wait, was that there before? Was that there before and I'm just blind? I guess that was there before and I'm just blind. Herpeter. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Writer, come in. Listen. I'm bad at video games. Okay. Sounds pretty important. I mean, I was on my way back anyway, so... You know. Let's see here. The Avatar Station. Oh yeah, we're already back here. I forgot we were so close. It felt like we went kind of far away, but... Evidently we didn't. Don't try it. They're gonna try it, aren't they? Yep, they're gonna try it. Gotta put them down. There we go. So they don't heal, those Viper Wolves that can heal, they don't heal over time. They actually, uh, they actually have a heal ability like I do. So it works the same way. When they get to a certain point of health, they'll hit that ability and get a little bit of health back. But they only do it, like, once, I think, or, you know, for a little while. It, it basically, it works just like mine. It works the exact same way. Um, you know, they, they, you know, might choose to use it at a different time. Like, maybe they'll use it when they get to a certain threshold, but... They use it, they get some health back, it goes on cooldown for a little while, and then, yeah, etc, etc. You get the idea. This is an interesting situation over here. What happened? One of these giant animals is dead here. You've done well, Ryder. I had my doubts, but you seem to have a good head on you. Thanks. Oh, boy. Let's get out of the way. Oh, gosh. Wow, that was a well-placed arrow, and very effective. Uh, hello, you look a little more native. I, am I have expected you. Hello, Tanjala. One of the native uh, Navi, I assume. Can I not point my gun at him? There we go. Today you must help clean infected herds, sky people. Bring disease to our beasts. Where'd you learn English? Rene Harper has taught us your words for many summers. He is good. He says you help. Go. Okay. To, uh, kill, kill the six Sturm Beasts. Can do. I like how they call us Sky People, but they, they, have, they have methods of flying as well. It's not like we're the only ones that can be in the air. So, you know, they have the, uh, the Banshees that they ride around. So, yeah. It's not like we're the only people on this planet, the only species on this planet that flies. Let's try to deal with this guy quickly. Uh, if I didn't miss any, there we go. If I didn't miss so much, that would have been a little bit easier. Ooh, cell sample over there. I think I saw another one that way. Did I? No, I saw the ammo pods light. Just want to stay away from it. You can see this doesn't have great range. That's something where the nail gun kind of helps out a little bit. So, nail gun has less DPS, as we discussed last time, but M60 has more DPS, but less range. You get the idea. We went over that last time. Ooh, it's like my favorite ship in the entire Avatar universe, basically. The entire universe of this game is this is like my favorite kind of ship. But it's blowing up an Avi village. Which is really sad. Ryder, come in. You better go see Falco. Oh boy. I didn't do anything wrong. I uh oh boy. Irrigation bypass. So they blew up a Navi village, which I can only assume is not going to be fun for uh uh, Tanjala, he's he's probably gonna be livid, to say the least. I mean, to put it lightly. Um, presumably there were plenty of natives there that also died in all of that. Uh, so, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be the one talking to Tanjala explaining that. 
Uh, got some more Viper Wolves over here. Let me just go ahead and get inside. Oh, there we go. Commander Falco, what are you doing? Plans have changed, kid. I need you to follow Tanjava. We've just learned he's the link to the mole, and I need that mole right now. What the hell's going on? I'm shutting down the Navi once and for all. The only loose end is that mole. Follow Tanjala, and he'll lead you straight to him. Okay. Whoever he meets must be the mole. Alrighty then. Where does one find Tanjala? Oh, uh, over there. Okay, can do. Can do. I hear Viper Wolves. Let's help our friends here. Oh, they don't need our help. They, they got this under control. Ah! Just, just fire like a madman. You'll either hit something or scare it away. Okay, I'm gonna try something. If I don't attack them, are they not going to attack me? Well, okay, they still are. I was gonna see if, like, you know, when the, when the game tells you that they're more passive to you, I wonder if that means you can get a little bit closer to them before they aggro than if you were playing as a human. But, you know, if that is the case, it's obviously not a massive difference, evidently. Uh, is there another one coming after me? Yep. Come here, you. There you go. So, up here. Don't mind all the gunfire and me killing your friends, Tanjala. That's, uh, your, your, your native species, Viper Wolf friends. Don't, don't mind all of that. Just self-defense. I tried to avoid them. I mean, they came after me, so, you know. Woo! This is... Oh, oh, up, up, up. A dire horse. Cool. Let's go. We've seen these guys before. In the movie, at least. So, fun times. So, can I... Is there a button to go faster? I don't know. There's Tanjala. I have a feeling that the great warrior that he is, he would notice if he was being followed. Okay, so right trigger makes me move faster. Let's try not to get right up on him. I don't want to, like, I don't want him to know I'm tailing him that well. So, although I don't actually see him, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just keep following the path on our dire horse here. And before I forget, let me, let me try to scan one of these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. What is it? A vein pod. Okay, I just wanted to scan it before I forgot to. Also, I was kind of curious what it is. So, like I said last time, I'm not going to try and scan absolutely everything, but there are some things that I'm genuinely curious about. Like, what is that thing? So, you know, I'm going to scan some stuff from time to time. I would like to scan the animals, too, just so that they, it tells me their names and, uh, you know, um, if they have any special abilities, like those healing viper wolves, I, I would like to know Falcon. that. What do you got, kid? It's Dr. Harper. I can see him right now on Tanjala. Son of a bitch, Boy, nice job being quiet there, Ryder. Get down there and don't let Harper get away. Harper, what are you doing? Oh, Tanjala's already gone. It's you. You're the mole. Is that what you're here for? Find the mole. <laughs> well, you did it. I'm the mole. Great work, Ryder. I smell promotion in the air. Do you realize what you're doing? Think about what you're doing. Any of this look familiar? Wait, that's... Yeah, that's where the Navi used to live. Before you stepped in. Me? I didn't do this. Everyone's hearing about it. The new SIG spec locked the target. What the hell did you think you were doing? They told me it was... Oh, God. They used you, Ryder. Oh, snap. Falco and the RDA are finished. It's just a matter of time. I've joined with the Navi. Give it up, Harper. Don't make this messy. The Navi could use you. It's now or never. We're two avatars against these guys. We can take them. Let's do it right now. Right now! Time's up! Ryder, 
I order you to shoot Harper. So, big decision time here, and I'm gonna pause the game as soon as I can so I can explain stuff. Okay, so, depending on who we shoot, that's the side, we're gonna end up on the side of the guy that we don't shoot. So, here, I'm gonna pause real quick to explain. Um, the game is very, very different. In fact, it's almost like saying there are two separate games, depending on who you pick. It's a big decision. They don't make that very clear right now, but I've played through the game on both sides, and it is vastly different. On one side, you're playing as the Navi. On the other side, you're playing as the RDA, and you never get to set foot in your avatar again. Um, the thing about both sides, right? Um, when you're playing as the Navi, you're still going to have your M60. You get to keep that. Other than that, your only other ranged weapon is a bow. And if you're like me, I'm not very good with the bow. Um, and it's hard. It's very hard to play with. So, you're going to be relying on melee weapons. So, you're going to be running at dudes with guns, shooting you constantly while you're trying to smack them with a club or something. It can be pretty frustrating. If you play as the RDA, you have a lot of guns at your disposal. You don't get to play as your avatar, so that kind of sucks. You lose that cool factor. But you have a lot of cool guns and weapons and stuff at your disposal. And you get to get into a ton of really cool vehicles. So, morally... I stand with the Navi, I think, with the Navi doing. Uh, I think the Navi are in the right, you know, morally speaking. From a gameplay standpoint, I think it's much more fun to play as the RDA because I, I don't know, like, any game I play, I really like the, mil the military kind of stuff. Like, in Halo Wars, for example, I always play as the UNSC, or in StarCraft, I always play as the Terran just because I think it's really cool to see that kind of stuff. Um, that human military, like sci-fi human military might, I think is really cool. So from a gameplay perspective, I have more fun playing as the RDA. Morally, though, I agree with the Navi. So we're going to shoot Harper and side with the RDA, simply because I think it, the game is more fun that way. So here we go. Get him. Get him. You just healed a little bit there. Out. Out. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. When did he get a bow? What in the world? Oh boy. It's over, Harper. And his last shot kills our avatar through the heart. And I'm pretty sure all of their arrows are poisonous tipped as well, or Ryder. tipped with poison, so. We got him, Commander. He's alive. So the shock actually the shock of that happening could have actually killed Ryder in the link bed. Um, but uh, it didn't, thankfully, so So that's that's the big choice of the game. And maybe I will revisit this at some point and uh, do a let's play of the other side because it is vastly different. Um, it's very, very different, the gameplay. Uh, so, yeah, but, uh, there, there we go. I've made my choice, um, again, simply because of, I think the gameplay is more fun. <clears throat> I don't think this game is too insanely long, but it is an open world game, so you can get lost in it if you'd like, as far, I don't mean get lost and can't find where you're going, but you find lots stuff. of stuff to do, you so. Falco wants a war. Oh boy. See, that sounds all nice there. Uh, Kendra, I think? Yeah, Kendra. That sounds nice and everything. And maybe you don't want a war, and I don't want a war, but Falco wants a war. Falco just wants to wipe them out. I still hate Falco. Falco's an ass. But, you know. So, we appear to be okay. Yep, Kendra's alright, thankfully. We didn't already lose her as a character. So now we gotta try and get the heck out of this situation. Wherever we ended up. Alrighty, well. We have crashed Kendra, somewhere. All right? I think I'm okay, but the pilot's banged up pretty bad. Radio's fried, too. 
You've got to go for help. There's an RDA mining camp a few mics from here. I'll stay with the pilot and do what I can. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got a full clip. Any vultures come calling, and they'll get a little surprise. One magazine? Is that all you have? That doesn't seem like much at all. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. Stalker pack. So, I got new handguns, a new assault rifle, and a new sprint ability. Oh, I leveled up again. What did I get this time? Power pack. Oh, I got a new flamethrower and a new shotgun, I think is what those are. Oh, and a new armor set as well. So, the armor set automatically equipped itself, and if we take a look at the handguns... Whoops. You can see that the handguns are now a little bit different. They're still revolvers, it looks like, but they are definitely newer. So, they'll do more damage. They have more shots per... Uh, they have more shots per, you know, cylinder, I guess, because they're revolvers. So, um... We got new, yeah, so we got new handguns, we got a new shotgun, as you can see. Uh, should have, like, an extra shot or two in the magazine. We got a new flamethrower, which, as you can see, does also look a little bit different than the last one. And we also got a new assault rifle uh, as well, so let's check that out. So, oh yeah, here we go. This is a really easy way to see the difference between the flamethrowers. So they, the, the model itself actually looks about the same. The color changed a little bit, but uh, what else do we get a new version of? Oh, yeah, a new shotgun. So you can see the model actually changes a little more noticeably there, at least in the, the grip on the front. So that's pretty cool. It just does more damage, which is nice. And our new assault rifle is uh, pretty noticeably different, as you can see. So that is also cool. And, uh, oh, the, the handguns. Oh, and I can't show off the handgun differences. That's right. Armor. So we started off with this. And we got this, which has way more vitality and way more protection as well, which is cool. Uh, skills. Oh, yeah, we got a skill last time I forgot to check out. So let's, uh, what was it? Tactical strike. Call in an airstrike on your target, destroying every enemy in the area. Beware, it takes a few seconds for the strike to arrive. So we didn't actually check that out last time, but Elite Training 2, which was, uh, as you can see, was already automatically upgraded since we already had the skill equipped. But um, what I like about this, too, is... I think, can you pick the, uh, maybe you can't pick the normal variant. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I think you can pick the, the standard, like, non-upgraded one if you want, but it doesn't look like that's actually the case. Okay, so never mind what I was going to say. Um, I like the setup we have here. Sprinting fast is nice because I'm lazy, and I want to get to where I'm going, so we'll keep that like so, and then uh, I might be going the wrong way right now. I don't know if I can get across. Over here, ah, uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, I already went the wrong way. Let's go ahead and sprint real quick. Because I want to get to where I'm going. This is another alternative, but of course that can be annoying, so. We are, uh, yeah, but we are officially stuck, so to speak. Not, I don't think it's a bad thing, but we are stuck playing as the RDA for the rest of this game. Now, what that also means is that these giant scorpion th uh, thistles are going to be a problem. And they have quite a bit of range on them as well, so... Experience point earnings, task initiated. So every sector that you're in, right now we are in a place called Needle Hills, I think. Um, and uh, every sector you're in has different challenges and stuff um, for you to complete as you are going through. One of those challenges is always to uncover some percentage of the map which you do just by walking around and exploring and stuff. Um, other ones might be like find certain things or kill certain things, things like that. So, got these vines we can climb up, like so. And as an RDA guy, you can actually go around and build ammo pods, like so, which is also a challenge uh, in most sectors. So, okay, we got a few viper wolves. Let's try to deal with them accordingly. There we go. I think there's one more. Yep. Oh, got it. Just oh, there's another one. I didn't know there was another one. Ah, right stick is not melee. There isn't a melee. Well, I don't think as this character, or as the RDA, I don't think there is. Oh, another one. And that one is going to try to heal, but we stopped it. Oh, boy. You can use your skill to heal yourself. Hold LB and press the action button assigned to the genetic regenerator to activate it. Let's hit that real quick. There's another freaking Viper Wolf. Come back here. There we go. Holy crap. Alright, so... Something I want to try. If I remember correctly... 
these scorpion thistles, and for that matter, most plants are actually vulnerable to the flamethrower. So let's try the flamethrower on this scorpion thistle over here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was really effective. Of course, you know, when you're getting that close, you got to play the, the game of dancing around so you don't uh, you don't end up getting hit by the thing. Oh, a new kind of viper wolf. Let's see if I can... Oh, there's two new kinds of viper wolves there. I wonder if I'm going to be able to scan them. Oh, oh, if I can get on top of this rock, I might be safe enough to actually scan them without them hitting me. So these yellow ones here, what do you guys do? You have stealth. Okay, so they're the wasp variant. What about the purple one that we saw? Where'd it go? Did we kill it already? We might have killed it already. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Where did, did it run off somewhere? Is it still around? I think it's gone. Well, it stinks. All right. So you can see, oh, it's invisible. You can still just barely see it against the same type of ability that we have. Like literally almost the exact same ability that I have. So it makes them kind of invisible, but not entirely invisible. Let's get our flamethrower back out so we can deal with this plant. Flamethrower obviously doesn't have great range, but has good enough range to get the job done. Oh boy, I think we are... Did that Viper Wolf come back? I guess not yet. I'm gonna grab this cell sample while I am thinking about it. And, oh, here's the Viper Wolf. Yellow guy again. There we go. Just because you go invisible doesn't mean I can't shoot you. I also have the shotgun. I do remember that as well. Ooh, look, an ammo pod. Is there a bunch of noise outside in real life? Probably. There almost always is. Uh, oh boy. I want to scan you, good sir. Hold still. I wish to scan you. There you go. So it has blind attack. I don't know what that means. Is it, like, flashbang me? Didn't seem to do anything there. I don't know. I have no idea. Stop that, you. Ow. Ugh. Let's deal with the plant first, just so I don't have to dance around so much. Try to burn these guys. Which is not the best thing in the world. Uh, there we go. Oh, another plant shooting at me. Spitting at me. Ow. You can see cell samples are pretty common, thankfully. It's a very good thing. Oh, boy. Let's set our defense here. Got it. All right. Man, oh, man. All right, let's heal up again. <laughs> Whew. It's getting a little intense here. Okay. Back to the flamethrower. Let's burn off this thistle here. There we go. Um... Okay, where in the heck are we trying to get? Okay, we're on the right path. We're on the right path. We just gotta keep going around here, and we'll get to where we need to be eventually. Oh, good, another ammo pod. I like how many of them there seem to be on this path. I know there are some spots later on where it's just barren of ammo, uh, ammo pods. Like, you, you desperately need ammo, and there just aren't any around, and it can be pretty upsetting. So I've got one, and got two. And they both gave me a cell sample. Isn't that nice? Thank you, thank you. Alright, so, ah, these things, I remember these, these things suck. Mine pods, so for the purposes of demonstration, yeah, there you go, that's what those do. So you want to just shoot them. Also, you can get some pretty easy cell samples. They're very easy to kill, thankfully, as you can see. And since they're so abundant, again, you get a lot of cell samples very easily. Whoops, missed. There we go. Is there another one here? Ow, ow! Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Stop it. There you go. Ow. I ran into another mine pod. Ow, 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 ow. I'm standing in the stuff. There we go. Alright, let's heal up. Burn that guy. Burn those two. When in doubt, just just burn everything around you. Just just turn on the flamethrower and go crazy. Like this. Oh yeah. When it comes to plants, the flamethrower is amazing. But I'm almost out of ammo for it already. So we still have, yeah, shotgun and M60. Should have plenty of ammo for each. Let's get over here to this ammo pod as well. Build it again. Like that. And it looks like we got a vine to climb up here. I don't see any more mine pods or thistles right on this little walkway. Ooh, it looks like we're coming up to one of our fortresses or something. Now that's nice. Here we go. Just get up this vine. Oh, this doesn't look good. This looks very bad. Uh, they're going to need our help, I think. Ugh. 
I think that little incident with Harper and uh, Falcon or Falco, Harper and Falco, and all of us, Ryder and Tanjala, all of them. I think that kicked off some pretty major events. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. There's fall damage, and it's pretty significant. Uh, respawn at checkpoint. Where is the last checkpoint? Um. Okay. Fall damage confirmed. Okay, we're right here. Good. 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 Horseshoe Gorge. Okay, let's not hop off of like the 20-foot wall um, Or more let's let's not do that And let's just calmly jump off of the 10-foot wall like so there we go <laughs> uh, Yeah, the fall damage takes a, a significant height to actually happen, but when it happens, it's no joke It's pretty bad. All right. Can we get inside of here? Yes, we can All right, let's get inside of here have the, uh, oh, I like how we have, like, a full helmet and everything. That's cool. Oh, loading, loading, loading. Loading. Oh, there we go. I like how we have, like, a full helmet and everything. That's cool. Uh, okay, you know what? We are at about a decent time to stop, so right now we're going to go ahead and stop this episode, uh, and we'll talk to that guy next time. So thank you very much for watching this episode of James Cameron's Avatar the Game. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.